Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here visiting Akaka Falls on the big island of Hawaii. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting Akaka Falls State Park, home of two beautiful waterfalls and a rainforest. The goal for today is simple, to enjoy the amazing views that this place has to offer and to show you around so that you know what you'll find if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. The hike is very accessible from the parking lot itself. If I turn around a bit, you can see right over here where you can see a lot of people gathered. That is the main entrance point for the hike. And in case you didn't pay for your entrance and parking fee online or on their app, you can actually do that here at the park. You can see there are a few machines where you can pay for parking and for your entrance. And just for your information, whenever you pay for your entrance and parking ticket, the ticket has a time frame on it. I asked around because I was like, if I want to stay here a bit longer than an hour and 46 minutes, do I have to pay again? I asked around and they told me that they don't really enforce it, so there is really no time limit. And over here are the machines that I told you about where you can pay your entrance and your parking fee all at the same time, which is very convenient. And right over this way is the entrance for the trail that leads you over to the waterfalls. But you don't even have to go into the trailhead in order to already see amazing views. You can do that from the parking lot right here. I mean, check this out. This is wild, amazing views from the get-go. All right, you guys, I think it's about time for us to start our hike. As we do this, I'll share a few important points with you guys. The first point I'd like to share with you guys is that this is a paved route. As you can clearly see, it is only 0.4 miles, which means it is relatively easy to complete. Secondly, whenever you get to this section right here, you have to select the route that you want to take. Over to the right is the suggested circle route, which first takes you to the smaller Kahuna Falls and then over to Akaka Falls. If you want to skip Kahuna Falls and just head over to Akaka Falls, the namesake of this park, then you simply have to head to the left. Today, we will of course be heading over to the right to the suggested circle route and I recommend that you do the same. This is not a super long hike. Also, this way you get to see both waterfalls and end at Akaka Falls, which is exactly our plan for today. Walking over this way, you can clearly see the beauty of this place. The amazing and luscious green forest that you can experience in this area. I don't think my camera is doing it justice. I don't think it could and I don't think words could describe the feeling that you get being in this location. When planning my visit to Hawaii, I knew right away that I wanted to show you very cool environments such as this one, this very cool rainforest, which makes you feel like you're in a very unexplored area on Earth. Around this area, you can clearly see that it is covered by many different types of plants. Even if you can't identify them individually, it is clear that there's so much variety right here. Check it out, you guys. As you can see, there is a split on the path right here. One is clearly going up and the other one looks like a dead end. So that, you guys, might be the first overlook of the day where we can see our first waterfall. I don't know if you can see it clearly on camera, but that right there, you guys, is Kahuna Falls. I did read online that it is best to come here when it rains to see it better, 
because it is covered by trees and plants on either side. If I zoom in just a little bit, you can clearly see it right there coming down from the side of the mountain. Kahuna Falls is 100 feet in height and it is only the first waterfall that we will see in today's visit. As I mentioned earlier, this hiking route saves the best for last, so let's head to the next waterfall. Check it out you guys, I just arrived at this area right here, this part of the path as you can see, it has huge trees growing on both sides of it, and the trees have these things, I don't know what to call them, I don't know if they're vines or something, but they look very interesting. I've seen a lot of people taking pictures in this area, and I mean you can clearly see why. Making my way through here you guys, we're almost at the next waterfall. As I said, it is a very short hike, so I'll see you once I get there. And bam you guys, we are almost here at the Akaka Falls Overlook, but I just wanted to show you from a distance how you can clearly see it even if we're not there yet. That looks really amazing, can't wait to see it from up close. Check it out you guys, we have made it to the Akaka Falls Overlook. You can clearly see that because of the tourists gathered in this area, but let's talk about the waterfall itself. I don't have many words, honestly, I'm a bit speechless, but I can tell you that I can clearly see why this is one of the most, if not the most famous waterfall on the big island of Hawaii. It looks beautiful and check out how far it drops. Still going, still going, and I don't think my camera can see all the way down, but that is crazy. Akaka Falls is 442 feet in height, which effectively makes it more than four times taller than the Kahuna Falls that we saw earlier. The area from where you can see the waterfall is also really open. Let me show you. You can pretty much stand at any point of this fence and you'll get a good look at the waterfall itself. That is really good for any visitor coming by to take a look. That right there you guys is the top of the waterfall. The water coming down this waterfall is actually coming down from two different streams. The Kalaka'o'o and the Kole Kole, which are both making their way down from the side of the Mauna Kea volcano. So the water comes from all the way up there and it makes its way down into the ocean. So I'm trying something with my camera. I have a selfie stick doohickey extended as much as I can to try to show you the bottom of the waterfall. I don't know if you can see it though. Can you? So far today, we have seen the beautiful nature that this place has to offer. We've seen the waterfalls, of course. We've seen the beautiful rainforest. But right now, I want to tell you about an animal that lives and thrives in this location. I'm talking about the O'opu alama'o, otherwise known as the Hawaiian freshwater goby. They spawn in the stream above the waterfall but mature at sea, meaning they have to make their way to the ocean from the top of this waterfall. This might not sound so impressive at first, but think about it. They have to return to the stream above the waterfall to have their own babies. These are small fish with a maximum size of 7 centimeters. So how do these tiny fish climb up the waterfall? These fish have evolved to do so. Their bodies have suction discs that enable them to climb up the waterfall little by little. Doesn't that just blow your mind? Imagine too if they fall halfway. Nature sure is brutal and beautiful at the same time. Oh and I almost forgot but on the side here you will find two plaques with more information on the waterfall itself. One of them actually tells you that Akaka Falls is actually twice the height as Niagara Falls, which is something I didn't know. And just like that you guys, we make it to the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked the video as much as I did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.